Imagine a world where dancing could kill. Welcome to the eerie reality of the Dancing Plague of 1518. In the heart of Strasbourg, a strange phenomenon took hold. It began with one woman, Frau Trophea, who started to dance. She danced with fervor and without rest, day and night. Her feet moved to a rhythm only she could hear, her body swaying and twisting in a frenzied dance. But she was not alone for long. Within a week, 34 others had joined her, and by the end of the month, the number had swelled to around 400. This was no joyous jamboree. There was no music, no celebration. It was a dance of despair, of exhaustion. Faces twisted in pain, bodies contorted in spasms. They danced until they collapsed, and then they got up and danced some more. Many succumbed to strokes and heart attacks. They danced until they died. Historians have since been baffled by this bizarre event. Some attribute it to mass hysteria, a collective stress response triggered by the harsh realities of life in the 16th century. Others point to ergot poisoning, a hallucinogenic condition caused by ingesting rye infected with a certain kind of fungus. But the truth remains elusive, buried deep within the annals of history. Hundreds danced and many died in this bizarre chapter of history. But the dance of death was just the beginning. While the dancers were dropping in Strasbourg, over in the British village of Woolpit, something equally strange was taking place. In the 12th century, this small village became the stage for a peculiar incident, a tale that has perplexed historians, scientists, and conspiracy theorists alike. It revolves around two children, a brother and sister, who seemingly popped up out of nowhere. But these were no ordinary children. Their skin was green. Yes, you heard it right, green. This unusual pigment wasn't the only perplexing aspect about them. They spoke an unfamiliar language, wore strange clothes, and would only eat beans. Numerous theories have emerged over the years to explain their mysterious origins. Some suggest they were the children of Flemish immigrants, tinted green by malnutrition, or a condition known as hypochromic anemia. Others, with a more fantastical bent, speculate that they might have been extraterrestrial or even inhabitants of a hidden underground world. As the children grew older, they learned English and their skin gradually lost its green hue. Yet their past remained shrouded in mystery. The girl, after her brother's death, claimed they came from a land of perpetual twilight where all the inhabitants were green like them. The green children vanished as mysteriously as they arrived, leaving behind a tale that continues to baffle us to this day. Whether they were aliens, sufferers of a rare medical condition, or simply the product of a medieval imagination, their story continues to intrigue and bewilder. From dancing plagues and green children, we now move to a chilling tale of unsolved murder. Welcome to Hinterkaifeck. In the quiet rural landscape of Hinterkaifeck, Germany, a gruesome tale unfolds. In the spring of 1922, the Gruber family, a family of six, met a chilling end at their remote farm. The entire family, along with their maid, were brutally murdered, their bodies discovered days later. What adds an eerie layer to this horrifying event are the strange occurrences that preceded the murders. The family patriarch, Andreas Gruber, had reported seeing footprints in the snow leading from the forest to their home, but none leading out. Unexplained noises were heard in the attic. A mysterious newspaper appeared, and keys went missing. This string of odd happenings suggested that something was amiss, but no one could have imagined the horror that was to follow. When the bodies were discovered, they were found in such a state that it suggested the killer, or killers, lingered at the farm post the massacre. The animals were fed, meals were eaten, and the neighbors reported seeing smoke from the chimney. Despite extensive investigations and over a hundred suspects interviewed, the case remains unsolved. No one was ever convicted for the horrendous crime, leaving a chilling void in the narrative of the Hinterkaifeck murders. With no culprits and no clear motive, the Hinterkaifeck murders remain one of history's darkest unsolved mysteries. Today, we've journeyed through some of history's creepiest events. Please like and subscribe for more.